All right, making a response video, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, there's probably no point in doing the screeny thing, but I will do it anyway. I only played half this video. You can see the little mouse down here. Um, you know, it's just so, it's just, you know, I was making too many good jokes at the screen, so why waste them? Um, so, so we'll start that? over here. Um, yeah, I think we'll just refresh the page. That'll be the easiest way to do it, I think. So, should start soon. The fuck wit. This... Hello there, this Hi. is James Oscroft, you James 1978, and I have seen the face of evil. Of course, uh, of course. Oh, yes, of course, I can't see your face, though, so we can't really tell whether you're you're evil, um, you know, fucktarded, yes, but yeah, maybe not. The typical definition of evil is to harm another sentient being without their express consent. Oh, oh, well, that's just brilliant, too, right? I mean, harm without... So if they consent to be harmed, right? Or what if they can't consent one way or the other? Then the harm is okay? I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all, this stupid consent thing. And then why don't you take the word consent and apply it to you people? You're the one who doesn't ask is consent. You impose life. Okay, on animals, on people, every day you impose it without consent. You don't um, get a consent, all right? So you're the one who's playing the game. You do harm to children, obviously. I mean, they're born in, in a horrible conditions. You don't ask their consent. You do harm to them, so I, that makes you fucking evil. You're not passing a law against it, are you? So I guess you are the evil one. Which Absolutely. they are free to withdraw at any time solely for your own benefit. However, there is a personification of evil that. Um, yeah, wait a minute. So, so where do we have this consent thing, Mr. Evil Guy? Well, there's no real point in doing that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, where do we have this consent? Where? Where, where do I see this consent? Where, where, what nation gives people the, con the right? To say, I oh, know I'd like to gracefully exit your insane, crazy house. Um, yeah, what country endorses that? None. So I guess all countries are evil. Yes, all the ones you're endorsing, all the life lovers are evil because they're not acquiring people's consent. Goes far beyond this definition, and his channel name is Inbendum. Having watched the incomprehensibly jovial and friendly responses by my friend Vogta2100 to this pig fucker... Oh, <laughs> pig fucker! Oh, I knew do you have evidence of that? Do you have evidence? Oh, no, that's just one of those things you just throw out there, right? Well, I would suggest you, this is the pig fucker f talking, um, that you take the pig dick out of your mouth so you can actually talk. You see, that's part of when you're making a video... You see, you probably you can't, shouldn't be making the video with pig penis in your mouth. All right? It just doesn't work. Bendham was an arrogant oh, well, twat well, who well, hated well, all well, humanity, well, 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 believed well, well, that we are all doomed anyway, well, and so well, what the hell? Well, Why not just exterminate the entire human race? Uh, yeah, but, but the, another wrong paraphrase, but whatever. Yeah, the, the problem is, is you don't have any evidence that we're going to go anywhere but... Glow in the dark, um, AK-47, uh, dark future. If you draw, can you take out your box of crayons and just try to draw a picture of how the future is going to take place? You know, <laughs> you know. Please, let's see it. Let's see that you see you draw your picture of seven billion people on planet Earth with uh, diminishing resources, a broken environment, um, and that somehow they're going to get through all of that without burning each other's skin off. Give, give, show me, show me some sort of road. Now, having actually watched one of his videos, at least in part, I am... <laughs> yes, you are uh, still ignorant. Thoroughly. I mean, really. Really. We've been talking about this for a month. You watch one fucking video, and then you call me an arrogant twat. No, you're the definition. I might be evil, but you're the definition of arrigant twat. Filled with Whoa. righteous indignation. So, and blubbery cow fat. I mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you've got a lot of stuff inside of you. It's not just evil. Uh, what do you weigh, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds? The basic thrust of this pig fucker's argument 
is that not only is the planet doomed to destruction, if not by global warming, war or overpopulation, then by a comet or something similar, but that all... Yeah, yeah well see, now, that's a premise, right? So why don't you argue against that premise and explain exactly how none of those things are likely or probable. Like our history, our destiny is not going to be, you know, maybe very soon, uh, cataclysmic and horrific and like everybody screaming and yelling and going ah really really loud well human life is utterly pointless that all we do is make each other suffer that we achieve nothing accomplish yes, that's yes those are the key words achieve and accomplish okay ignore the other crap just point out what we do actually accomplish i mean we build pyramids and we build cathedrals and we put some garbage into space. But beyond that, what the fuck do we really accomplish, asshole, that justifies even a piece of the horror? Even like the 150,000 people still dying of measles, let alone the starvation, let alone the shitworms, let alone all the other crap that you could add on. I mean, really. Your little pictures of the cosmos, is it really all the fuck worth it? I don't really think so. Nothing. And the only result of our so-called trivial games, our lives, is to make each other suffer even more. Um, really, I never say said that. That's not even close to a quote, all right? I didn't say the only thing we do, that's all we do, blah, blah, blah. But what I said was the only thing we do is chase our addictions. And the only thing that has value is something we're addicted to. So it's the biology that creates the incentive to play the game, all right? It isn't the thing that we're chasing that has value. It's only our fucking deprivation that has any meaning. And it's pretty fucking dumb to be completely gamed by a fucking molecule. That's my argument. He describes hope for a better future as a delusion. A childish... <laughs> well, that's not how I described it anyway, but yeah, hope is, you know, a lot of people will tell you that hope is kind of silly if you don't have anything behind it, like uh, some sort of rational diagram of how there's reason to have hope. Yeah, see, that's sort of a sentence you might have heard before, reason to have hope. Yeah, it's like reason to have faith in a god or something. You really should have a little bit of fucking evidence of the god before you believe in the god fantasy before going before pointing out that if he could blueprint a suitably doomed future then even the most delusional person would press the so-called red button and kill all humans instantaneously well i mean we could make exceptions for some of you i mean we don't have to instantaneously kill some of you some of you we could stick some electrodes in your fucking head uh, you know, like we do in laboratories every day to other creatures, other sentient beings. And we could make you feel like your eyeballs are on fire, and it would be kind of, we could watch you scream and yell, and, you know, we could tie you down and do all that fun shit. Or we could take you to a slaughterhouse, and we could rip your gut open and have your, have your entrails, which must be massive, just start flowing out, you know, while you're going, uh, you know, and that would be really cool, too. So we could do it that way. We could make exceptions for you people that you know, really want all of life, every little, every little bloody, gory bit of it. But given the fact that in his monumental arrogance, oh, he has... Monumental arrogance, blah, 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 Do you eat in public? I mean, really, are you arrogant enough to eat in public? I mean, because you've got to be making people barf. Already condemned all humanity, past present and future, and that no amount of evidence will ah, there ever... We go, there we go, there we go, no, 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 any, yes, give me some evidence, some amount of evidence, yeah, just some amount, just some amount, I'll, t I'll accept it, and I'll, I'll change my whole fucking story, you give me some amount of evidence that you're actually going to accomplish something that'll justify the whole, even though, like the Holocaust. Just take the Holocaust. Just give me an example of what kind of gigantic chocolate cake you're going to make that's going to justify the Holocaust. How big is it going to be? Is it going to be as big as like Finland or something? 
Yeah, well, maybe that that works, right? A chocolate cake as big as Finland might might compensate for four years of Jews dying in concentration camps. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Swayed him otherwise, assuming that indeed the world is merely a cesspool of suffering, and that the human race is better off dead. What can we do about it? Are there <clears throat> we could admit it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. that's the first thing we could do is actually admit that that's well, that probably is true. And so maybe we should change our fucking behavior. And maybe big, fat, arrogant jackasses with pig dicks in their mouth um, probably shouldn't be supporting people reproducing recklessly. And maybe they should think about it for a while and contemplate, well, yeah, maybe my you know, life wasn't that special. And maybe I shouldn't take a risk with somebody else. And especially if, like, they're born with one of those faces where, you know, it's all fucked up and their nose is, like, where their eye is supposed to be and shit. And that wouldn't be any fucking fun. Are there other options besides annihilating the entire human race, the ultimate... Uh, yes, and I've offered those, and my, my point was, is I am convinced, that's all, I said me personally, I'm convinced the human race will not do anything that it needs to do. It will not panic soon enough. It will not do it. And so there, it is quite hopeless... And I'm just saying from my perspective, if I ever had the opportunity, uh, you know, to do the right thing, I would do the right fucking thing and put this sick, rabid creature out of its fucking misery. The side? Of course there is. We can fight back! Einstein said that the world oh, is careful. too... careful. Now watch your blood pressure. You can fight back. Fight back against what, asshole? Your own fucking gluttony? Now, you can't even control that. You can't even control your fucking goddamn gluttony. And you're going to talk about fighting back. Dangerous a place to live in. Not because of those who do evil, but because of those who allow them to do evil. <laughs> well, there you go. So all these people who aren't asking consent before they create creatures they can't even fucking goddamn take care of, well, maybe you should point some of your big, fat, pontificating anger at some of those fuckwits. All right? I'm not the one who made this mess. I'm not the one endorsing the fucking mess. I, all I want is exemption from the mess. I want you to respect my desire never to ride on your shit coaster, okay? You're, I don't want to be thrown back into your loony bin because you fuckwits won't ask me my permission before you inject me into your insanity. Fuck ass. Butt shit. Okay, look, if you were playing the game and the dice was all about you and it only mattered, all the risk was paid by you, well, then you'd have an argument. But that's not how life fucking works. And, you know, you can't just claim, well, that's not how life fucking works. No, you have to make excuses for it being broken. You have to make an excuse. If you're going to sit there and play with something that's extremely dangerous, um, that has a risk tied to it, then you're the one who has to justify it. I'm not the one who has to justify stopping you from playing games with other creatures' welfare. The world is too dangerous a place to live in because of those who expect them to do evil. Those who are so monumentally arrogant, hypocritical, and dr driven by hatred of humanity that they will... <laughs> what, what are you? You are just... I can't believe that Vlokster guy or whatever he is, Vlokster, I'll mispronounce his name, but it's fun. Um, he mirrors this video? Think <sighs> themselves judge, jury, and a executioner to all that is, was, and ever will be. Right, and the, we do the same thing every time. So we were judge, jury, and executioner of Nazi philosophy. We were judge, jury, and executioner in you know every other war that ever took place by a human creature. 
Yes, you make a judgment and you pass the judgment, and then if you have the, the power to exercise the judgment, you do so. Um, but you haven't made an argument here against the, the logic or rationale that has led me to the judgment. You've just said you're not allowed to pass judgment. You're not allowed to make an argument that we're all fucked-hearted pigs and idiots. Well, yeah, I am allowed to do that. And I've put my evidence on the table. Your obligation is to put your hopeful humanity is going to actually do something besides, you know, <laughs> just besides redundantly do what it's done thousands and thousands and thousands of times before. Well, billions and billions, actually. Do you want to know what true evil is beyond the definition? <laughs> yeah, beyond making videos with pig dick in your mouth. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to come up with. Edition of set by ethics. It is to surrender to people <laughs> like in <Inventum. laughs> Surrender. Surrender. Oh, he surrendered. Oh, man, that's pretty funny shit coming. You know, you really shouldn't be such an asshole when you have so many, you know, whatever they are, little defects, you know, personality flaws. Uh, it is to think the same way as in Mendham. To be so arrogant and selfish, so apathetic and cowardly. <laughs> yeah, whatever. These are just fucking words, okay? Yeah, the, so you, I could call the Nazis names before I killed them. You can call me names before you kill me because I'm evil and I want to do some fucking harm and nastiness. No, I've argued why it needs to be done. Explain how the human race isn't just a DNA rabid dog. Explain how it's accomplishing something other than chasing its own fucking ass. So hypocritical and self-righteous that you feel you are in any position to judge the value of the entire human race, including... Yeah, yeah including... Uh, you know, let's say, no, I'm judging the entire DNA experiment, okay? That's the judgment, all right? It's not just humans. It's the whole fucking stupid consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, addiction, bullshit. It's nonsense. It's idiotic. It's a fucking molecule out of fucking control. It is the <laughs> the perfect Frankenstein experiment gone bad. Generations yet unborn. I tell you this, my friend, in Mendham. The sun has not yet risen on the day when I will surrender to your kind of... <laughs> yeah, whatever. You, you, what are you going to do? You're going to... What are you, what are you going to do? You're going to roll over me? <laughs> oh, you will float, though, I Evil, bet. or to any evil, full stop, oh. I will kick and scratch and bite and spit my last breath in it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll spit. <laughs> what? You do that, what, every 43 seconds? You spit at everything. Come on. Space, because where there is life, there is hope. Oh, that's really intelligent. Where there is pink balloon, there is... <laughs> <laughs> what ran yes, unicorn seeds and rainbow spores. Yay. Let's all chase the pink balloon. I would never press this so called red button of yours under any circumstances. Ah, because any so there's no circumstances, right. So every human being could be dying of a of of radiation sickness. Um you know, just horrible, miserable suffering, and you would do nothing. You'd just sit back and say, yep, suffer, fuckers. Too bad. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, very humanitarian. I am not God, and neither are you! Oh, no! silly man, there is no God, okay? And still, know, what, know what the default God is, because there is no God? It's a DNA molecule. Okay, a fucking molecule. You stupid fuckers are saying, let the molecule drive the bus. 
Okay, you're so fucking retarded. You don't even know that a molecule can't drive. All right, that kid doesn't have a driver's license. You don't let a molecule drive your little fucking yellow puke bus. No one can predict the future, and no one has the right. Oh, right, it predicting the future. So it, that's that's now you're saying that we have to predict the future to know cause and effect, to understand probabilities, and to make balanced and sensible equations. So nobody should ever unplug anybody in a persistent vegetative state because they don't have absolute evidence that the person won't all of a sudden just grow a brain or that there'll be some miraculous medical advancement. And so we should waste millions of dollars and resources to keep some brain-dead thing, uh, their little heart beating, right? So you're, that's your kind of rationality you would apply. Yeah, fuck you. To judge the the value of anyone else's life, let alone the whole of... No, oh, so keep pretending. Keep pretending you don't do that every fucking day. All right? I mean, how much did you pay for that pig, you know, that's got its dick in your mouth? How much, how much do every day you make, you make calculated decisions that have quite um, obvious and discernible effects in the world? No doubt about it, all right, that you consume other people's lives and welfare every fucking day. And you're just sitting there playing a game, pretending that, no, you didn't make any of those decisions consciously because you avoided them, because you ran the fuck away from the fucking goddamn truth. Fucking humanity. Everyone has a contribution to make. Everyone can help. To create oh, a better... Oh, right, yes. Jeffrey Dahmer made a tremendous contribution. And Bundy, and we can go right down the list of all those great contributors. Benedict Arnold, great future. And in Mendham, you personally can make a contribution right now to all of humanity, present and future, yeah. by throwing yourself... At... <laughs> yeah, the same old bullshit. Oh, you really get the argument, don't you? Yeah, right. I save myself from the future by killing myself. No, that doesn't work. If I jump off the boat, that'll somehow stop the boat from crashing into the fucking iceberg. No, that won't work, will it? No, it won't work. Into a fucking bus! Once you do, there will be... Well, at least I would fit under the bus. At least I haven't eaten seven million Chinamen. <laughs> One less evil in the world! After all, as far as you are concerned, there is nothing but doom and suffering anyway, but what is there to lose? Um, it is strange... This just shows how ignorant you are. Like I said, it's... it's you know, well, whatever. What's the point of making the argument over and over and over again? You know? I mean, it's really fucking goddamn ludicrous. Uh, this isn't about me doing something out of some sort of pettiness or pointlessness. I'm not just saying, well, I'm going to go outside and kick a dog in the ass. No, I'm doing it because I'm trying to prevent something. Something you people won't prevent. Sort of way, though, you have already made a contribution. Your arrogant hatred of all humanity has inspired me. <laughs> Because having spent the last week or so despairing... <laughs> yeah, that eating it, every seal on Earth, right? Isn't that what you were doing last week? Eating all the seals? ...it is indomitable. That no matter what, people will continue to hate. They will believe what they want to believe, and nothing that I or anyone... <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I just... You know, I got here on Earth, and I said to myself... Well, I'm going to believe it's a shithole. That's what I'm going to do, because I want to believe it's a shithole. No, asshole, that's not how it works. The shit was just all over the place. I didn't put it there. It was just everywhere. And the fact that you can't see it is because apparently you've been eating it. Well, says or does will make the slightest difference by showing me that surrendering to this evil is an act of evil in itself. You have filled me with righteous indignation. You do not <laughs> oh, cool. Neato. <laughs> what are you going to do, sweat on your TV? Oh. 
fight the battles that you can win. You fight the battles that need to be fought. Oh, jeez. Spoken like a true Thunderfoot. Let's all put books. Let's put the book on the ground at the book stop. That'll show the fuckers when it book stops at your books. Yeah. Yeah. I am you, James, 1978, <laughs> and I will never <laughs> surrender. Oh, you're fucking insane. <laughs> oh, really crazy ass. Man, that was amazing. That was amazingly fun, I have to admit it. People that are this crazy are fun. <sighs> Let's see, what do you say here? I'm going to mirror this. That's a vlogster guy. Vlogster guy. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. And yes, do please mirror this video. And ask everyone else to do the same. Yes, everybody, please do mirror <laughs> Please do mirror this. It was great stuff. Not just to kick and mend him in his stupid fucking head. <laughs> but everyone, boo, boo, agree with him uh, and believe the same bullshit. Yes, so you can kick everybody in the head. Very good. With this incredibly articulate video of humor and fun. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Really was amazing, but yeah, please, everybody, mirror this video. Yes, and then them the face of evil. I love that title. It's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to favor this. This is brilliant. This is good stuff. I mean, how can I possibly not look like a goddamn fucking brilliant person to have somebody this crazy, um, all energized? Let's see. What the hell? I don't even know how to do anything.